Hello everyone, brothers. My name is Tong Le. I am from Vietnam and uh, I have been living here in the U.S. for two and a half years. I am in the first year of pre-theology at St. Paul Seminary. My new home parish is Divine Judimo Parish, Siwikli. I am so grateful to have a home parish in the diocese, a place to come back, to serve, and a place to call home. Thank you, Bishop, Father Writer, and uh, Father Brian Noel for your love and care to allow me to be a part of the parish. Today, I'm very happy to share with all of you about my vocation story. There are two people who have had a huge influence on my vocation, and they are my parents. I am the third of five children. I have two brothers and two sisters. We were taught to pursue religious life when we were little because my parents really loved St. Thres family and tried to imitate them. I remember they said to us, we desire to, de to dedicate all of you to the Lord. I did not know if they were joking or not, but after that, they treated us uh, uh, differently. Four of us, as my little sister wasn't born yet, when we were asked what we want to be uh, in the future, we, uh, we uh, better answer just that I want to be a priest and I want to be a nun even though we did not know what we were saying. We had no idea about priest or nun at that time. We were too young to know that stuff. All we really cared about was playing some games or running around with kids in my village, but whatever made my parents happy, we tried. My parents took us to the church with them for mass in the early morning and, and, in, uh, and no matter how cold it was. I, I have to confess with all of you that was my, my nightmare. Oh my gosh, I, I walked to the church in, in a bad mood all the time. My parents taught, how, taught us how to pray with rosary uh, and, and we, had a, we had to pray together before going to bed for every night. When I grew up, I realized how much I appreciated my parents and, uh, and their love for us. I knew they loved us so much and they did everything just because of us. They prepared the best foundation for us and they were like our wings so that we can fly to anywhere the Lord has prepared for us. My older brother is a Franciscan friar and who served in Taiwan in a couple of years and my older sister is a nun and she is studying and serving in the Philippines. I am here in the U.S., continue to discern God's will in my life. I don't mean to brag about my family, but I want to say that parents are, are really essential in, in preparing children for their future, particularly in for, in their, for their vocation. The most meaningful and beautiful moment in my life was the moment when I discovered about the mercy of God. I didn't know about the mercy of God until I was in high school when my best friend brought me an image of Jesus with a sentence, Jesus, I trust in you. He also invited me to join him to deliver these images to every student in our school. I was very embarrassed and very shy to do that, but we, we did it. I also brought some images to my family and displayed them in the church. I was curious what was inside of the image uh, because I had never seen it before. I looked in it and I started mumbling in my mouth, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust. I felt very cold and chilled in, in, in my body after that. Then I turned the other side and read. I met St. Faustina and Divine Mercy chaplet from that moment. And I found more books about the mercy of God. And I, I finally found the diary of St. Faustina, Divine Mercy in my soul. I read and read a lot about it. 
And I was crying a lot because from that moment I realized our Lord is full of mercy and His mercy is bigger than anything. He, he really touched my heart at that time and He showed His mercy and love for me. Let no soul fear to draw near to me, even though it seems be as scarlet. My mercy is so great that, that no mind, be it of man or of angel, will be able to fathom it throughout all eternity. Diary number 699. This was what I was taught and what I knew about God as a terrifying God. Therefore, I had no love for God, nor I feel God's love for me. All I knew about God was a strict God, but not anymore. I fell in love with Him after that. He let me know more about Him and His mercy and love. I, felt in, I, I fell in love with Him, and I prayed the Divine Mercy chaplet since then, especially at 3 p.m., when I dive deeper in His mercy and pray His mercy not only for me and sinners, but for the whole world. I was, it was a big conversion in my life. And I think it was the most significant moment for, my, for me to realize the meaning of my life. And the most important thing is, was my vocation began to bloom from that time. In 2013, I went to college in Ring City, a small city near my hometown, when I studied automation engineering. During the time in college, I started thinking about entering a seminary. So I decided to live in a rectory of a church in the city with 20 men who also wanted to pursue a priesthood for our local diocese. In Vietnam, if we want to enter seminary, we have to join their program while in college so that they can work with us and help us to discern on our vocation. Therefore, I had four years living in rectory. I loved my time there where I could serve, pray, and grow in relationship with God. That was a time when I know that the Lord was calling me. I prayed a lot. And the more I prayed, the more I felt happy and joyful to offer my life to the Lord and His Church. I graduated in 2017. I was prepared to take an exam to enter the local seminary. While doing that, I got a letter from Father Bao Nguyen, who is founder of Formation Support for Vietnam in the U.S. He asked me to think and consider coming to the U.S to study and serve here. At that time, I had no idea because the only idea I had was to enter our seminary, uh, which is closest to my family. I prayed a lot. I talked to my parents, my brother and my sister, and my godfather. And, uh, but, uh, they all supported me and encouraged me. They said that I need to be open and be ready to serve wherever God leads me. I prayed for this decision one year and during this time, I understood more about my vocation, my faith, and especially to put my trust in God and let Him guide my life. In 2018, I came to the U.S. with two other seminarians, we landed in New York's airport after the long, longest flight I have ever had. It was 26 hours. We came to seminary afterwards with a warm welcome from bishop and faculty. I went to Duquesne to study English for one and a half years, and now I am studying philosophy at Franciscan University and discerning God's will in my life. So therefore, please keep us and keep me and all of us at St. Paul Seminary in your prayers, and please be assured of our prayers for you. To sum up what I said today, I wanted to say that the Lord already has a plan for each of us, and He always wants the best for us. So all we need is to trust in Him and follow Him faithfully. Do not be afraid to answer God's, the Lord's call and to do His will, 
What a joy it is to follow Christ and to be a witness for him, even when it is tough. But at the end of this life, Jesus is there for us, and our reward shall be great. Thank you for listening. God bless.